Now that you've watched the first couple of lectures for the measurements and units of physics, hopefully you'll be ready to answer a few questions. So first, which of these four answers is in the correct units for mass? I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. You can pause the video if you want, and then I'll move on to answers. Hopefully you all had some idea of what was going on there. The first answer is correct. Kilograms and grams are the same unit of measurement, just with a different prefix. So we can actually write this out as 1,000 grams plus 92 grams, which comes out to 1,092 grams. And since grams is a measurement of mass, that's an acceptable answer. Now the second one looks like it might be. After all, it only includes kilograms and grams, but it isn't. See, the kilograms divided by grams is the same as 1,000 grams divided by 92 grams, and then the grams terms cancel out, leaving us with just 1,000 over 92, which is dimensionless. And this is supposed to be the units for mass, which would be grams or kilograms. Now the third one also doesn't work. Like I said in the last lecture, you can't add things of different types, so kilograms can't add to seconds. So that one's going to be wrong for any answer. And the final one's right, although it takes a little bit of thinking to see why. The seconds on the bottom cancels with the seconds on the top, leaving us just one kilogram times 92, which would be 92 kilograms. And because kilograms, like grams, is a measurement for mass, that's an acceptable answer. So even though that in answer included seconds, since the seconds canceled out, it all works in the end. And one more question. For this question, try to simplify this expression I've given you. And remember, you can treat the terms as variables, so you can cancel them out if you can simplify them correctly. So take a few seconds, look at that, pause the video if you want to, and then I'll give you the answer. Okay, so the first step we want to do is we want to get rid of the prefixes. So instead of 2 kilograms, we'll say that's 2 times 10 to the third grams, because kilo means 10 to the third, times 15 times 10 to the negative third, meters, because milla means negative third. And that's over 10 grams times 1 meter per second. So now the next step is we want to cancel units. Grams cancel on the top and bottom, and so does meters. So now we're left with an expression that's just in terms of numbers and the seconds down here. So now let's do the math. 2 times 15 is 30. And then the 10 to the third actually cancels out with the 10 to the negative third. They multiply out to 1. And then we're just dividing by 10. And then by 1 over seconds. And then we can actually invert that and multiply to get 30 over 10 times seconds over 1, which is the same as 3 seconds. So that's our answer for this. This entire big system up here simplified down to 3 seconds. So hopefully you understood how I did that. If not, go back and rewatch some of the lectures. And if you got it, you're ready to move on to the next lecture.